Hey, what's up guys? It is me again, Blazer Dragon, with another episode of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door Let's Play. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm actually recording this right after the previous episode, um, which was Monday the whatever of August 10th? No, it's got to be later than that. Either way, um, today, uh, yesterday, uh, actually no, oh god, I'm getting my days all mixed up. Um, yeah, today's Tuesday. Which must be the 11th, I think. But yesterday, uh, the actor and comedian uh, Robin Williams passed away. Which is really quite unfortunate, because I really, really liked him. Uh, not just for the Zelda adverts, but just in general. I really liked him in Flubber, Jumanji, yes, I quite like that film. And, uh, of course, Aladdin. It's really quite sad. Uh, to hear of his suspected suicide. Mm. Anyway, on a lo oh no, oh no. Uh, eh, oh well. Woo. Yeah. Uh. Anyway, back into the happy realms of this rather colourful game. Uh. That was a Goomba with an item. The item being a fire flower. Fire Flower is one of the few attacking items Ooh. and uh, is used to attack enemies with, huh? Fire Flower! Whee! So yes, uh, make sure you take care of en enemies with items as quick as you possibly can. They cannot live. Oops. I'm so used to using the D-pad to move, I've been playing a few games that requires, you know, the D-pad for movement. Uh, oop. In this recording session I still haven't changed the frame rate, but, uh, uh, yes, yes, yes. But in the next one I will be obviously changing that. Actually, while I've got this uh, in play, I am uploading the other video. Uh, so... But this one will still be uploaded tomorrow, just obviously to variate things. Turns out the other video was like nearly half an hour long. So yeah, look forward to that. Well, you will, because you'll be seeing that one first. Shut up, ignore me! So uh, we are actually making our way to the Thousand Year Door now, but not until I grab this! <laughs> Who could that be? Well, I, I was actually looking up, um, ha, got ya, and there will be multiple other issues I will be encountering throughout the game, uh, mostly to do with the punies, so I'm going to forewarn you now, that area might look really weird. Uh, again, it's one of those things that just can't be fixed. Apparently you can add a custom texture to fix it, but I likely won't be playing with that. And that was a mistake. Oh, actually no it wasn't. Oh yeah, I don't... Ah, I don't know much of my partner's uh, stylish commands, but still at this point it's not even relevant because I've just noticed I don't even have an audience. What's the point in having a play if there's not even an audience? Grr. Ooh, okay. Hey, Yakacha! Oh yeah, I also changed uh, my editing software. Uh, no, no longer shall I use Movie Maker to uh, render my videos out with some crappy ass effects. I'll actually be using After Effects for it now. Uh, th this means I'll be able to add much more cool things. Um, I'm not going to do any examples, but basically it, I'll use like pointers to help me along the way and whatnot. Well, that is if I can get uh, After Effects to work properly. Anyway, this these sort of things always happen when I'm talking about like stuff I'll be using for my computer. This black box is a douchebag. Well, kinda. Anyway, he's apparently some chap locked in a uh, box and he wants us to let him out and I don't know what to do about that other than letting him out, of course. 
So if I let him out, he'll be helping me on my journey. Funny enough, we already picked up that key, so might as well get on with it. Oh no! I'm not a fool! What's happening? <gasps> the purple screen. Funny enough, in Japan, uh, their idea of like dark energy and power isn't red like over here, it's actually purple. So, yeah, that do anything for you? Alright, I'm apparently cursed now. Now if I press Y, I turn into a paper airplane. Oh no! Yeah, that does sound pretty rough. Oh no. Oh, the horror! What have I become? Tilt left? Why? Why couldn't it be up and down? It's terrible. Ugh, the horror. Ugh, get out of here. Boop. Okay, so now apparently I can turn into a paper airplane. That just happened. Da -da 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 -da. Whoop, 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 whoop. You can cheat it out if you push right or left, depending on what way you're facing. It's so slow! You can actually gain yourself a little bit of additional height. Which is nice. We like that. Mm. This, my friends, is the thousand year door. Quite impressive for a door, really. Ah. Quite, quite the big deal this is. It's such a cool room. Of course I can't open it, because I need the power of the crystal stars. Or, you know, I could just hammer my way through. Uh, hmm. <gasps> what could be happening? That is a really cool design. Oh yes, uh, another thing I noticed, there's a little bit of noise on my microphone. Uh, I will try to clear that out. What I'll do is I'll add like a voice detection to, uh, modifier to my microphone settings. That way, you know, the only time sound will be picked up is when I'm talking. It just cancels it a little. Oh. Well, hey! That looks like where we're getting our first star! Yeah, just to recap for the last episode, we were basically told that we need to collect these crystal stars in order to open up the Thousand Year Door. Oh, and now we got a special move, which will open up a new command menu for us during battle. Meanwhile, Mario's got his eyes glued to the map. Seriously, only one thing changed. But that's what will happen. Each time you get a crystal star, it'll up the map will be updated to tell you where your next uh, place of interest is. Ah. It is not complicated, I do not need information. No. Oh, actually, I believe I'll be getting my first badge after this, which will be quite a useful one. Oh, uh, I do like to play these games on the safe side, so I'll be getting into every encounter, battle-wise, as I can, just to level up. Um, this is a lot more important than you might think for this game. It is centered around badges, like, exclusively. But obviously I'll need to get uh, the levels for badge points as well as the badges themselves, and you will understand this more in the future. Uh, I will be getting a badge right now, which will open up 
a few, you know, bits and bobs that I can do with them. But it does get rather complicated. Well, I guess we're finally about to start our journey. And Mario flailing around like an idiot. Aha, here we go. Yeah, don't confuse these with uh, with items. Badges are things that have to be equipped. No, thank you. No, thank you. Yes, you need flower points in order to use badges. Uh, not uh, some badges are sort of like a world-based thing. You know, like, kind of like Pokemon abilities. They'll just be active at all times, whereas some have to be sort of used during battle. Uh, slow. Uh, it's, it really does bug me with all these lag, with all this lag. Um, just nothing can be done. I mean, maybe uh, there might be something I can do. It's just there was nothing like in particular I could do in the configurations menu on the wiki. But I'll try to find something. I'm sure. I'm sure I will. Oh, and uh, now we're starting to get uh, members of the audience down there. Now, the audience will cheer me on d when performing actions, uh, and this is boosted by via stylish moves. Upon performing these actions, they will give me, as I said, star power, which can be used to to use my special abilities. And I accidentally push B. Whoopsie. It seems to happen more when I'm jumping, or when I'm flying. It is quite uh, bothersome. No, oh, hello. That thing's kind of soggy. Ugh, soggy paper. Ah! Oh! Okay. Now I believe we have our first sub boss. Hell yeah! Hi there. So yeah, giant blooper, which actually was shown in the uh, picture for the Paper Mario stage. So this should get interesting. Alrighty then. Can't flee. Yep, gonna have to deal with this. Now I usually play this on the safe side. I'm not hugely into using items, but I, on this fight I make an exception. That's why. It immediately takes the blooper down, so now he's open for attack. This will also be where I'm going to start using badges. I'm one of those people that like to conserve it for uh, boss use, but I'll try to refrain from doing that just to, to make battles go by a bit quicker. Ah, oh, damn it! I keep I keep thinking the D-pad like lets me do that. Force of habit. And there he goes, no damage taken at all. 20 star points, how about that? We're actually very close to our first level. Uh, you need to get 100 star points to go up a level. And that's every time as well. Now, don't think that. Whoops. Don't think that leveling up will be made easy because of that. It's not. As you level up, enemies will like not give you as much star points as before so yeah not not good for grinding I must say and now we've finally entered chapter one ah such a pleasant game castle and dragon oh never mind I'm a dragon too Oh yes, I love this music! Oh, th Damn it, I love this game so much! Yeah, I agree, it is pretty awesome. Mushroom! Stoppies! Save block! 
I don't use recovery items so much in battles unless I really have to, uh, because it wastes an entire turn. Well, that's just creepy. I love how the frame lag just holds the, the image, like, way longer than it needs to. Take in all this suspense as this r r rather bizarre looking red dragon flies into its castle. And notice how that castle looks like the one that was on the map? You, c you guessed it. We need to go there. How does one get over there though? It couldn't possibly have anything to do with that. Hmm. Well, uh, you, at, at any rate, let's keep going. We have many mushrooms to use. I can't remember what trees have stuff in and what trees don't, so I'll likely just hit everything. Oh, I never mentioned about first strikes. If I hit an enemy first, I will get the chance to get into a first strike. Oh, and that's something to keep in mind as well. The hammer is likely to cause tremors throughout the stage, in which case parts of the stage will fall on enemies, including us. So that's a, that can either be a benefit or a bad thing about using the hammer. Mine. And we have a pinky block. With our first bludge! Close call. When Mario in danger, cause enemies to sometimes miss. Now because we don't have much else going on with our badges, we might as well equip that. I'll likely take that off later when I get the chance. Come here. Oh. Come on. There we go. It's pro wise to get as many first strikes as possible. It definitely makes doing battles a lot easier. Hup, and hup, and stylish. As you level up, you'll actually increase your stage, you will. Like, you'll become a star, you will, like, popularity-wise. And uh, this will basically make your audience bigger. It will allow you to have uh, more star power on attacks and whatnot. However, that will also introduce more stage effects. You know, it's possible to be crushed by a moon. And I'm not even joking. Okay, Majora's Mask up in this bitch. Uh, how am I doing on time? I'll likely stop at 15 minutes for this part. Because I've got things to do. Now, I will mention that because this is on emulator, I do have access to... Where is it? Oh, will it not work? Ah, there we go. I do have access to the action replay cheats. Now, I will refrain from using them, but when it goes to the Pit of 100 Trials, I might be tempted to use the max health code. Now, as cheat as much cheating as that will be, I don't I'm not particularly fond of losing uh so early on in the game. Uh and when you lose the bit of a hundred trials you'll have to go through it all over again and I don't want to reduce you guys to have to sit through all of that crap. Uh I mean I could not but chances are I might. All right. And he's got a mushroom so he definitely needs to get out of here. But yeah, uh, as you'll see, I'll be changing partners like fairly frequently. This is mostly d to uh, equalize what I can do with my fights. Uh, and I, that's me talking. I did messed up on my action commands. The problem with this is because of the frame lags like randomly changing. I can't tell when would be a good place to you know let it all loose. <laughs> I cannot talk. I am incredibly sorry for that. There we are. Backdrop! Woo! Yeah, this is another thing that uh, Paper Mario likes to do. It's backdrop adventure. Yeah, I had a feeling this would be glitchy. <laughs> Hmm. 
All right, now we have a flip book, book, flip book bridge. We how are we doing on time? I'll go a little bit over uh, just so I can get to the uh, next save point. I knew I forgot to get that. Darn it. Okay. Running, running, running. Ugh. So slow. I want to get as many star pieces as I can. It will definitely be worth my while. Gots. Alright, I think a lot of star pieces will actually be underground, but there's not much I can do about that at this current stage in time. There's a lot of hidden stuff that you can't see. This is, a, like I said, this is a pretty big game. Uh, oh, actually, I picked up some interesting items. Um, that there, I don't think I'll take my chance with that. I've had one too many occasions where that has gone against what I want, so it's not really my plan. Also that won't be doing much yet. That's a cooking ingredient, but we can't cook yet. Oh no. Oh no. No, I- damn it, there's something I forgot to do in Rogueport. Ah, oh, that could have saved so much time for me. Uh, there's an event that you can do in Rogueport that will have to be done by the time you get to Chapter 3. And it requires stuff in Petalburg Woods. Petalburg Woods? Oh, whatever. In Petalburg. Uh, yeah, I'll need to pick up the item here. Oh, no. Damn it! Okay, well, I'll, I'll get to that in this part, I will. It'll, trust me, it, it will save me a lot of time if I get it done now. Okay, so what that guy's telling us is basically a dragon is being a complete dick and wrecking the place. So I need to talk to the mayor and see if I can get anything done about it. Anyway, now I'm going to go and cut straight on to... Uh, back to Rogueport and trigger that event and I shall meet you there. Okay, uh, get, coming back a little bit early. It turns out I managed to score a level up uh, on my trip back. Okay, so this is worth talking about. As I said before, you've got three options. Health, flower points and badge points. Given how early it is in the game, I'm going to go for health. And... For a while, I'll be almost exclusively going for uh, badge points and flower points. Anyway, that's all I really wanted to talk about uh, at this point. So now I shall meet you back at Roadport. All right, I am back and this is the event I was talking about. Zesty. Oh boy. Okay, looks like I can't. Uh, move or do anything. Let's see what happens when I talk to Cumbella. Oh no, that was my hammer. Never mind. So conveniently, no matter what, or unconveniently rather, the uh, contact lens will always be at Mario's feet. <laughs> so she's now pissed off that I can't get a compensate her for this stupid, stupid content lens, but I guess I can see why she'd be annoyed at that. Anyway, then you have to go to this shop here. In your own time. Also, it took me a really long time to realise that they were moustaches. I honestly thought they were their mouths. Anywho, I would like a contact lens. Ah, oh, damn it. Pardon me. So yeah, now I have to have it special ordered. If I talk to this guy, uh, he'll talk to me about shop points. Now, this isn't exactly... Ugh. 
I don't need to know. Aha, here we go. I want to store some stuff. Uh, for now, I shall store the Hull's Tail, because I really won't need it for, at this point in the game. I'll store my Mushroom as well. And then I shall sell my mystery. It's only one coin, but I I won't be using it. I can guarantee that. So there's the fright mask uh, and sleepy sheep. I have never made use of those two items. It it doesn't work on bosses, and sometimes it doesn't really work in general against some enemies. So it's really kind of pointless. Anyway, now I definitely am running over time. Uh, I will return probably when that guy, when the guy has got the contact lens ready. Actually, no, it should be ready when I finish Petalburg. Okay, well, on the next uh, episode, I will be at Petalburg, and we shall continue off there. Okay, Blaze the Dragon with more Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. I shall see you tomorrow. Ciao.